when you're doing live theater, it's just so much easier to connect with your castmates. Doing virtual theater, it removes the ability for us to go out and, and create that camaraderie. And then we start getting a feel of who we are as individuals, because we always bring a little bit of ourselves to any character we play. So the challenge in doing virtual uh, theater is not only trying to find the moments, but also trying to engage with your scene partner so you know exactly what's working or what's not working. The way that I'm starting to approach this method is that I'm just gonna work on my own character voice, listen to the cadence of what I'm saying, try to find the right beats. And, and that's how I'm, I'm in, a, in a spiritual way, I'm, I'm making this uh, connection with, with who I'm talking to or who I'm playing with. I think that's the hardest bit is the rehearsal time is mostly on your own. And while we have a couple of rehearsals where we're all together, I, I tend to really figure out who my character is by doing it over and over again. And I learn so much from my fellow actors who are reacting to me to figure mm -hmm. out how my character should react then to them. And so there's so much play that happens in rehearsal in terms of like, well, let's try it this way, let's try it that way. And a lot of times it isn't just you, a, a, an acknowledgement that we're going to try it this way, but it's just almost this riff. It's kind of like, you know, jazz in a way this that you all you're all ripping off each other and so that piece is um you know can be missing um i have done virtual theater you know i did another production where it was just me and one other actor um this fall um and it worked really well because we had so much rehearsal time together but i realized for a cast this big we probably don't have that time but it was um but yeah this is going to be a new and interesting challenge to figure out who God is, because I'm playing God, figure out who God is. And this is a very different conception of who, of, of how I have pictured what God is. And so um, it's, it, you know, I, I wish that I could have, you know, a, just like a couple days with you all in person to kind of figure yeah. out who God is, but we can't. So this, that's the challenge. Well, I guess our characters will be uh, a little more self-absorbed than they <laughs> otherwise be, um, which may actually <laughs> add a bit of realism in some other ways. But, uh, you know, my background's in psychology and um, like Robbie. So the thing is that about 90% of spoken communication is nonverbal. And of the nonverbal part, you know, this, so that means about 50% of it is the body language. About 10% is the actual words. So around 40% is the, like you said, the cadence, the pacing, the beats, the intonation. Um, we don't have the gestures, like here I am talking with my hands, the audience won't see that. So, Acting this way really means a lot of strong attention to how to use all aspects of the voice. Can I tell you what I am really excited about though too? Every cast, you know, we get at least three shows together. That is awesome. A lot of the virtual shows that I've done, I think at the, the Dracula one had two shows. A lot of them are like one and done. And you're like, what? Like we just were doing our thing. Like we just started to, to figure this thing out. Now it's over and we get two weekends that I'm so happy about that. Three shows per cast, phenomenal. Yeah, I think also uh, I've only done one other virtual show uh, during this time, but it was like, okay, now you have to imagine that you're gonna look this way because this person's entering stage left and this person's entering downstage and, and and it was just so I mean I'm used to you know blocking or I'm used to film a little bit you know fudging it but it was so unrealistic and there was no one there to piggyback off of or you know oh look because that person's entering the room there's nobody entering my bedroom right now it's a <laughs> that's, that's a wall oh it's really hard to get in character doing this <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of hurdles that you have to cross that, you know. Yeah. You, you, you don't have that, you don't have that peer influence by your peers on set. That would be my number one. That's challenging. We're not on in person. Like somebody just shake the hell out of you. Like, wake up. Yeah. <laughs> Got this, you know. 
you know, we don't have that because, but it just takes more discipline. Robbie, good idea. You know, let's try it out, see what happens, you know, so this could be the next. You're gonna love it. I'm telling <laughs> you, you're all gonna love it.